Well, we made it to Brussels, took the overnight bus, which was very comfortable. I had two seats to myself so I could splay out and sleep. Now we're standing in the Grand Place, which is spectacular, lots of gold work, and they're also under construction, I guess, in the off-season. Makes sense. But now it's off to my most favorite of all experiences in Brussels, a Lambic Brewery. I'll let you know more when we get there. We are here at the Lambic Brew House. I'm extremely excited to be bringing you here because it's something that I'm nearly passionate about. Lambic beer is an ancient form of brew making that uses wild airborne yeast to ferment the sugars and thus convert the wort into alcohol. We're gonna take you around a tour of this brew house and see all of the fun little tips and tricks we can tell you about the beer because it is a pretty fantastic cultural note on Brussels. Does that scare you? The dog? Yeah. Stefan's scared of dogs. At this brew house, they've been open since 1900 and they still use a process that takes about three years to convert a one batch of materials into beer. Okay. New room, new pleasures. The location is pretty key in the making of this beer because the air around the Seine River here in Brussels is what contains thousands of different varieties of airborne yeasts, all of which can combine to create the flavors in the beer. What makes the process a lot more unique than any other kind of beer is that if there's a cobweb in the brew house, they keep it there because as soon as, soon as they start sterilizing things to the same methods that we would use in other beer making processes, you start killing off the airborne yeast. This doesn't mean that the beer isn't safe to consume, however, because it still is pasteurized. With the camera, with no hands on the thing. Like, this staircase is steep, okay? It is steep. This whole place is steep. We're three levels up now in as many steps. <laughs> I can feel the yeast in the air tonight. Olympic. <laughs> so this one seems to be the goose. It's a mixture of three years of different lambics and it has carbonation. The other ones apparently don't. Here we go. Stefan's just brought over the raspberry lambic. This is the fruit flavored one. And I think Stefan's gonna enjoy this a bit more with his his palate. Let's see. Let's see. You take this one. Oh yeah, it's much better. Yeah, a bit sweeter. The Lambic beer was superb, and as we wrapped up the tour and headed to our next Belgian city, Stefan finds a hidden treat in my backpack. I've had that pizza in my bag the whole time, but it's still good to go. You're a savage. <laughs> I'm not a savage. I'm standing at the home of Club Bruges Koninklijk Football Vereniging, which is a soccer team here in Bruges. Today we're going to go check out the town, but I'm glad that I was able to come by because they are my Belgian team. I picked up some cool garb, a little t a stuffed animal teddy bear for my nephew. And unfortunately for me, the seats to the game are rather pricey, so I'm going to have to skip out on that. But that doesn't mean it wasn't cool to check out the stands. I've watched too many Club Bruges games on the internet to count, so it's really cool to come and see the stadium and everything firsthand and to get all the, the cool merchandise that I did. It's a neat experience. The calm before the storm, holy crap! We pass over the moat which surrounds Bruges Old Town and find our way to some classic Belgian treats. There's really only one thing that's more satisfying than having a Belgian waffle in Bruges and that is having Belgian chocolate in Bruges. Any smart person would cover their bases by putting Belgian chocolate onto their Belgian waffle while in Bruges. I guess that makes me and Stefan among the elite, doesn't it? Just like in Brussels, Bruges has a similar market square. They are characterized by lavishly decorated guild halls, town halls, restaurants, tour shops, and chocolate shops, among many other things. A simple stroll in these surroundings will bring out your inner Rick Steves. You'll be instinctively searching for confectionaries and khaki pants. Bruges is a world heritage site for good reason. Everything has historical value and it's impossible to find an area that you won't instantaneously fall in love with. It's like we're walking and we just come across cool alleyways, like this one.
Bruges, Belgian waffles, cobblestone streets, sweet alleyways, beer, beautiful architecture, canals, pretty awesome. It's like snow raining, I'm shivering pretty bad, but that's okay, because look at this. It won't matter what corner you look behind, Bruges is this brilliant and then some everywhere within its boundaries. Oh, and the and then some part was referring to this. Oh yeah, that's a few of them. Just in case there was some confusion, Belgium has a very large collection of brewed in-country domestic brews, most of which are world-class.